The longevity of the instruments is a very rewarding aspect. The feeling that these instruments are going to be played for hundreds of years drives me to make them. I first decided I wanted to make musical instruments when I walked into a furniture maker's workshop. It was the environment of the wood and the tools which drew me in. I'm a musical person, so it was natural to want to combine the woodwork with making instruments. I went on a course at West Dean College, learning historical stringed instrument making. And I also worked for a few different makers in UK and Europe. I went to Germany and Austria, went to Turkey for a bit. Seeing other people doing it professionally was the way I wanted to learn. The starting point is always my drawing and getting the design down. I tried to base all my designs on historical instruments. I go to museums and research as much as I can, looking at old instruments from the Renaissance because that was a time in terms of craft where there was no standardisation. There was such a wide range of techniques. It was like an explosion of new ideas coming in terms of instruments and music. The old instruments really reflect that. Then I make working drawing on paper by hand, one-to-one -one scale, so that I can see it down on paper in front of me. And then there's a few different ways to put an instrument together. It depends on the instrument itself, so it could be using a mould, or sometimes they can be built free form. It's very much like making a box. It's just a fancy shaped box, really. During the making process, things can go wrong, because wood is a natural material. You can be planing a piece of wood and you discover a knot or the grain changes. I'm always having to adapt slightly to the way the process goes. Being prepared or allowing that the process can change and not sticking too strongly to, I have to do it that way. I allow myself to do things differently if I have to. Patience is important because it can take years to learn the skills in order to be able to make an instrument. So I treat it like a long-term thing. It's a life's work. My name is Jonathan Hill and I'm a stringed instrument maker.